And good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome on this uh, Memorial Day morning. We're going to step outside and talk about the markets here with North Dakota State University Extension Grain Marketing Specialist, Frayne Olson. Uh, Frayne, uh, we had a wild and crazy week ahead of Memorial Day. Yeah, it, the, um, a lot of the sparks in the wheat market. We've had some a nice little rally going on in the last couple weeks. Um, you know, it's, it's softened a little bit in the last few days, but that's, that's normal, too, to see some ups and downs in the market. Um, a lot of that was stimulated because of some of the frost, potential frost fears we had not only here in North Dakota, but also in, into Canada. And then some drier conditions st starting to show up, not only in um, Western Canada, but also reappearing now into the Black Sea region. Earlier this year, we had uh, some concerns that they were going to be very dry as they broke dormancy. They've had some nice rains coming through, but now it looks like that soil moisture is being used up again. Have the fundamentals set us uh, down or put us down to a technical point where if we go through, uh, could we can start tumbling even further? On, on the soybean side, side, yes. We've actually broken through the lows that we saw uh, just before harvest of last year. And again, we've had very, uh, 2014 was a very big crop in the U.S., uh, the, the soybean production out of South America, both Brazil and Argentina, is, have been massive crops there as well. We're getting into the growing season here. It looks as though we might have another big crop here in the U.S. So a, fundamentally, a lot of downward pressure from a technical standpoint. We've broken through those lows that we saw uh, set last, uh, last fall, just before harvest. Uh, so again, on the soybean side, we're kind of setting ourselves up for some challenges. Wow. So, guys got to keep their brokers handy, huh? Well, they do. And, and again, we, you know, it's very early in the season. We, there's a lot of things that can happen. Uh, but right now, the market is expecting a very large crop. And as a result, uh, most buyers are just sitting back and saying, well, we, there's, there's no urgency. There's no need for us to come in and get anxious about buying. We'll wait to see what happens as we move forward. All right. Frain, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's uh, jump over to the livestock side now. NDSU Extension Livestock Marketing Specialist Tim Petrie. This weekend, marching forward, it's the grilling season. Is that going to help cattle prices? You bet, absolutely. And it has uh, our choice beef cutout value this week is going to set an all-time record high. We've been setting them on a daily basis. And so, obviously, meat is moving very well. Unlike here, where we had a very nice winter, the East Coast uh, had a terrible winter, if you watched it on TV and and uh, they're pulling the grills out they're tired of the winter and so uh, yeah this is Memorial Day and then into Father's Day and the 4th of July is a peak grilling and beef demand season and it's funneled off into the cutout value and cattle prices for this time of the year are all market classes are record high for this time of the year but off a little bit from last fall except the lightweight feeder cattle available for grass are still right at all-time record highs because it's raining in the south uh, and they have the best pasture conditions at least in five years some cases ten so the demand for lightweight feeder cattle and replacement heifers and cows is just at all-time record highs so uh, everybody in agriculture knows good times don't last, so should these cattle producers with these high value calves this spring uh, guarantee to do some forward contracts? Yeah, sure, we're now approaching the downward part of the price cycle. In the last few years, we've been the upward part of the price cycle, which is not conducive to forward pricing and price risk management. Hasn't worked very well the last several years, but now, uh, you know, we're at record high levels and our expectation is even the last part of this year, we'll have have lower prices than we had last year likely and so yes I would certainly be looking at some price risk management in in cattle that hasn't haven't worked the last few years all right Tim thank you so very much happy Memorial Day happy Memorial Day to you and all, all right. the pe viewing people out there all right thank you all right.